Hello and welcome to the second match of KDE application against GNOME applications. Again, the point is not really to do really a contrast or trying to figure out who's better, but try to see how different applications behave and what people do actually need when asked what makes an image viewer a good image viewer. So again, I'm reading off my Twitter replies where I asked that question and based on those replies we'll be evaluating Gwenview and not high of Gnome because that would be an unfair comparison but I have this editor which is the other um, picture viewer uh, of Gnome as far as I know whose name I'm not sure how to pronounce it's probably Gthumb I guess Thumb. I'm just going to call it the Gnome one the first criteria that I got is uh, touch screen and touchpad uh, multi-touch gestures, which makes sense. And luckily I'm recording this on a X11 uh, machine, which means that I'm not able to test this. I am 100% sure that I of GNOME supports multi-touch gestures. I don't know about Gthumb. And uh, uh, as far as I remember, Gwenview doesn't support them, but I might be wrong because I can't test this right now. So let's jump to something that we can actually test out. So basic editing capabilities. So uh, more in particular, we've got resize, crop, uh, color, brightness, contrast capabilities, which makes sense. It's all very fair stuff. So let's take some random image. Like I don't know this one, this one. So we've got a uh, reference, which is the same one in both. And let's start editing. So as far as cropping goes, Gwenview is just perfect to me because you can even go into advanced settings, set an aspect ratio, which is like 16 to nine. We can actually hard code the size and position, which sometimes is useful. I don't remember when, but I actually had to use it one time. In here, we've got these options and this one is the cropping. And again, we've got width, height, position, which is perfect, aspect ratio like this. As far as I'm concerned, multiple off is also pretty cool. Invert is very useful. As far as I'm concerned, both have perfect cropping. And uh, we've got also flipping, re uh, resizing also, and in here as well, uh, accept. We've got the resizing and also flipping, mirroring, everything that we would need. Why can't I go back? Okay, I can't go more back. Okay, let's undo everything here. Next one is actually being able to share, where is it? Sharing to social media. So we've got share on Gwenview, Sorry, let me open this back in. Sharing on Gwenview, you can send to device, which is pretty cool, KD Connect, thank you. Bluetooth, email, next cloud, send via Telegram and Imgur. Let's try out like Telegram as an example, let's see if this one works. And it actually opens up Telegram. I haven't logged in, but it works, nice. What about Gthumb or the Gnome one? So in here, there is some share button somewhere. Yes, this export to Facebook, Picasa web album, Flickr, and 23, which I had never heard of. I gotta say from both image viewers, that's a pretty weird selection, like this four and this four are weird, but I wouldn't necessarily say that one is better than the other. They're just a bit weird. Let's try one random thing to see if it works, like Flickr. Connecting to server, asking authorization. Looks like it works. Probably going to ask me password. I mean, yep, works nicely. I don't actually have a Flickr account. So next one is being able to zoom, which sounds obvious, but there are actually many tools to, to zoom in. By the way, if you were wondering why Gwenview looks so bad, that's actually because I'm running it from GNOME. So this looks correct, this doesn't, but the point is not like the beauty, it's how it works. So in here, you've got a, this, which is, let's take a bigger in, image, uh, don't, do not save like this. We've got this one, which is one-to-one, -one. this one, which is fit image, and this one, we've got a lot of options and a slider, which is pretty nice. And of course we do have here on the top right, 
the preview of the whole image. In here, it's on the bottom right. We can zoom in with the slider. We do have all of the options as well. We've got not a preview of the image, but you can actually drag this around. And in here, we can fit between the two. Overall, they're the same. There's also the request not to have a lot of buttons, which I understand. Both of these, when you open them up, I say that they don't quite fill that criteria, but that's because instead of this, if you want a few buttons, you should probably be using the default image viewer, which is much simpler. It's this one for reference, many less buttons. And in this case, there's Coco, which is much cleaner interface. But if we want to compare like all of the nice features like cropping, image editing, we got to do this one. By the way, I completely forgot about colors. So let's jump back to colors to check them out. This is contrast or maybe it isn't. Sorry. What is this? Automatic contrast. No, I wanted to. Wow, that's actually a lot of stuff. So we've got gamma brightness. It's nice that you have automatic contrast saturation and also color levels and you get the graph, which I don't know how to use because I don't do image editing, <laughs> but in here as well, let's open back the image, show editing tools. Let's see if there's anything about colors. Uh, nope. So Gwen view actually, actually doesn't have anything about colors. So that's actually the first win and it's a win for the GNOME one. Then there is the requirement that a good image viewer should auto detect other images and videos in the containing folder of the image and allow you to scroll through them. And in the, Google, the GNOME one, you can do it here, as you can see. And in here, you also have this option. I remember this. If you press left and right, right? Show thumbnails. Okay, so sorry, it was the show, thumb, show thumbnails button like this. You can see that. Nice. Then dark mode is required. Of course, you do have it here, as you can see. In Gwenview, it's actually pretty easy to set the dark mode, but you have to do it just like here in the system settings. So let's actually pop up system settings a second. Okay, and then you go into colors and you select breeze dark. Again, everything looks broken, but you know why. And let's open back when view using the style breeze like this. And you do get dark mode. Again, if it looks weird, it's because it's running on GNOME instead of KDE. It looks perfectly normal in KDE. There's also Seth Lilley asking, can you see the picture? And uh, I can safely say that both Gwenview and the GNOME one actually show you the picture that you're supposed to be viewing, so it works. Then there is the requirement that it should have Minecraft skin loading support with automatic reloads. Nope, as far as I know, neither have Minecraft skin loading support. I guess you can see the skin as a file image, but not as a 3D render, obviously. Then there is touch controls. So let's try to use both only using touch, when view and, uh, okay, we're home. The, sorry, it's two of Gwen view. Sorry. Gnome is weird sometimes. Okay. So let's try to use both just by using touch. So let's try to pick up an image. Then we want to edit it. We want to change the colors by killing it. Then we want to flip it and then crop it. Okay. No, thank you. Take off the, okay. We can actually move the crop. Can we resize the crop? Yes. And it looks nice. Accept, accept, accept. And we are done. Araragikan. Then let's try it here. Uh, thank you, I don't need the keyboard. Very aggressive keyboard. And let's take the image and then we want to edit it. We want to, well, there's no colors, but we want to flip it, mirror it, then crop it. Let's uh, select, uh, um, okay, this one is a bit hard to touch. Okay, like this. And then can we actually drag and drop this one in here? And looks like we cannot. Okay, so Gwenview doesn't actually work with touch screens if you want to cr if you want to crop something, which is annoying. And what it actually does is 
switch between images even if you're cropping which is a bug so if you're cropping and then you do this it switches images which is totally not nice and that's another full point for Gthump. the ability to rename a file okay can we rename a file in here yes we've got the options right here what about Gthump? Uh, where is it where is it info name can we change this nope right click somewhere save changes nope preferences pretty cool that you have changed date and convert format though i really like those you've got save as but that's not rename so i think it lacks rename at least i don't see any easy way to rename a file so that's gotta be one point for gwen view also, it's required to have next and previous buttons by default. So next and previous, I'm slightly confused. I mean, uh, you can just click here on the bottom. Do you actually need buttons to switch between them? Does are the year, do we, no, we don't have buttons in either of them. We just have to click on the previous. But I mean, I know we do actually have left and right buttons. So, I mean, if you need left and right buttons, like if this is what you need, then GwenView does have that. Let's see how many formats you can you can export to, because in here we've got save or export into multiple formats. So let's save as and see how many formats you have here. 13, what about Gthump? So we said that we do actually have convert format and new format, I mean, just five. Can't you, I don't know, save as more stuff? Oh, no, the save as doesn't actually show how you can save the, the file. So you do have to use convert format and that's less stuff. I, I mean, I guess it's the important stuff, but still, GwenView does export to more formats compared to Gthumb. There's also a lot of, it should be lightweight and open fast. And both of these like fully meet, if I can type, fully made that criteria. I mean, they were super fast to open up and you've seen GwenView earlier. That's not the issue, honestly. Okay, this one is actually nice. Custom background for alpha channel and images with an alpha channel can actually have different stuff. So let's, let's see if I have something with an alpha channel. No, so let's pick this image. Can we customize alpha channel? And the answer is yes. I just need to remember how here. Transparency, we've got four options, which is checkered, right, white, gray, and black. There's also another way to set this option within the UI. I just uh, don't find it, but it's somewhere. In GwenView, we also have that option somewhere, which is here. We've got follow color scheme, light, neutral, and dark. So in GwenView, we are actually lacking the checkered mode. Finally, I think it would be unfair to try also a couple of features that are not mentioned in the tweets, but that these do have. So first of all, Gathum does have comments. So hello, and let's see, where is this comment? Ah, here, okay. Let's see if there's something similar, anything close like that here. Comments, properties maybe. I don't think so actually. There's tags and I'm trying I will try out tags soon, but nothing like comments. So comments is a cool feature that only Gothumb has. Let's try tags indeed. We can add a tag. There's lots of cool one by default. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, uh, Revelis, which is the author of this image like this. That's it. Can we actually, I don't know, find something us using the tags? How do I use them? I mean, maybe if I try to not file name, but tag. Okay, tag is release, find, works, nice. When view, do you also have tags? Yes, somewhere, edit, edit tags. So let's add a tag, um, monogatari, close. Okay, then let's get back to home. Can we search using monogatari as a tag? And yes, we can, now we need to save, sorry. 
and we don't see it in tags and I also add a tags issue when using Dolphin and I'm beginning to think it's because I'm using GNOME and Baloo is not running so maybe let's try to run Baloo this time. Okay, funnily enough I don't have Baloo installed at all, not because I don't like Baloo, only because I never built it and since I'm using GNOME, I only build KD things that I actually use or develop for, which is like KD Plasma panels and these apps. So I can test that right now. But yes, tags are implemented and we also get rating from zero to five. After terribly messing up the Dolphin versus Nautilus, Nautilus, not Thunar, Nautilus, uh, comparison. Uh, this one was more calm and I double checked all the info before doing this video so hopefully I didn't mess up anything. But if so that always happens just put a comment and I will pin it and stuff. So if you noticed any mistake if, if you've done some tests that I haven't just put out a comment and also if you like this video blah 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 you know what to do. See you tomorrow.